Today we're going to talk about the parathyroid gland. The parathyroid gland consists of four associated glands that are related to the thyroid gland. So if we assume that um, this is the thyroid gland, this is the trachea, and the thyroid gland is, is here, like that. So the parathyroid glands will be here, like this. So they are four associated glands to the thyroid gland. Now, the parathyroid gland, all of these glands secrete a hormone called the parathormone. This hormone is related to the calcium level in the blood. So when the calcium level in the blood is low, it works on raising the calcium level in the blood again, maintaining the normal levels of calcium in the blood. So here we have two effects of parathormone. The effects of it uh, hyper secretion and the effects of its hypo secretion. So hyper secretion means increased secretion and hypo secretion means decreased secretion. So in case of hyper secretion uh, we said that parathormone increases the levels of calcium. So when its secretion increases, the levels of calcium will increase. Plus, actually the calcium is originally stored in bones. So when there, are, uh, when there is an abnormal secretion of parathormone, excess amounts of calcium will be extracted from bones. Accordingly, they will be liable and fragile, and they will be... Uh, exposed to bending and fracture. On the other hand, in hyposecretion, um, the levels of calcium in blood will be low due to the insufficient secretion of parathormone, and uh, there will be muscle convulsions and spasms. Also, there will be an increased excitability in the nervous system due to the um, disorder in the uh, sodium, potassium, calcium bond in the nerve cells or in the neurons. So um, this is the uh, parathyroid gland and what hormone they secrete, which is the parathormone. So this is it for today. Until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.